everybody. Have you guys been doing this exercise for your groin pain? Maybe you've been noticing while performing or afterwards that you're having pain in this area or even this area. Well, we're gonna go over a modification for this exercise today and what we've noticed with people with this discomfort. My name is Don, this is Sebastian, and we work at Performance Place Sports Care in Costa Mesa. California, locally world famous. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Let's get right into it. We're gonna go over some modifications. Sebastian's gonna take me through it. Okay, go ahead and lay down your belly. So uh, this exercise is one that actually is suggested for some people with sports hernias and other types of groin pain in the front. Go ahead and press that a couple times on. Um, but for a lot of people, they actually, it, it doesn't work well for them. They feel this stretchy sensation on the front of the hip uh, and even a little bit into like the groin region. And so maybe this is something that we don't really want to do too much of where we can modify it just slightly. Go ahead and wa uh, actually walk your whole body forward because you're a little bit out of the camera. There we go. And so there's two things that we could do. Um, one of them is we can change her hand position from the start. And so right now she's hands about like kind of bra line. And so why don't you go ahead and put your hands above where your shoulders uh, would fall. There you go, right there. And so now she's pushing kind of away from her body versus pushing her body just generally up. And so pushing backwards like this can sometimes change how much ab protection you get. And so you might feel your abs work harder during this version of the exercises, which can inherently protect some of the hip as well. So that's option one. What was option two? So option two with this is uh, you, you don't want to do it. So Don's doing perfect. Just lay there. Don't do anything. The reason why you don't want to do it is because there's a small majority of people this exercise actually works for with groin pain or, or sports hernias, but most people it doesn't. And uh, Don, what do you think about the whole scenario? Um, so what we may notice actually is something that's quite the opposite direction would actually be more beneficial. Um, things like a child's pose position here, not necessarily all the way all here with the arms, but actually bringing the elbows into here and kind of sitting and breathing with this position may actually feel better into the groin. I think we cover this in the webinar actually, don't we? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Check out the webinar. We go over hip, groin, diagnoses, things you can try, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, but the thing about exercises is you don't always want to feel your pain while performing them. You should feel better afterwards. So if you're just poking the bear in this extension exercise, maybe just try the opposite. Sit the butt back, bring the elbows in between the knees there, breathe through it and see if that one makes you feel a little bit better. Yeah, it's really hard sometimes. I feel like people are, they're like, look, I'm willing to work through the pain to feel better. Um, so I'll do it. And, and typically the answer is no, these exercises shouldn't really hurt at all. Mm -hmm. You might feel like there's areas working hard or there's areas that are stretching a little bit, but it shouldn't be like, yep, my stuff is worse. Yeah. And a lot of times the press-up series can do that for people who are having groin pain, especially in the front or people with sports hernias. Definitely. So if you guys want help, you can reach out to us. We are in Costa Mesa, but we also have virtual options as you've probably seen already. Uh, and we everything we have free is on YouTube, so you can always take advantage of those as well. But that webinar is a really good starting point. We'll see you guys next time.